here quick enough where I got the power hooked up. Eh? So I had to go to a bigger transformer for the, the sound. This is 17 and I've got the double, but they're only 14. And yeah, the sound one takes a lot more power. Of course, the guy in Pickery didn't tell me that, so I took took it back because I screwed it up because it didn't have enough power. Now it'd be reprogrammed. So I said, oh, it's a marvel one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think one more Well, I've got, uh, for switches, I've probably got about 13 or 14. That looks like it. <laughs> Not a CP1 coming. Yeah, I got this from the guy in Pickering gave it to me for nothing. I just have to figure out what track I'm going to extend out here for it. Yeah. But. yeah, probably dirty track. Well, I'm going to clean it. It's the first time I ran the train in a couple of weeks, you know what I mean? That one spot there, you see it sort of yeah. sticks there. Even though I've wiped it off and cleaned the track, it's still, I don't understand what the problem is. Eh? Not much coupler tension either. Oh no. That means they run they run real smooth, eh? Mm -hmm. I mean to stop it or see those engines are The track is virtually perfect. There's only one or two spots where it might bump or have any you know, so. so I made it as smooth as possible. Eh? You don't see any bumps on it. It's only, only those switches over there. You can have a little bit of a problem. 